how are you? Welcome to a new vlog. Welcome to Monday morning. I apologise for how I look right now. It's very early for us. And we've been up for a little while. We, I got these like mindfulness cards for Christmas from Toby. And one of the things was to watch sunrise. And I've wanted to watch a sunrise for a while. We've just been super busy and haven't really had time. And also, as I've mentioned before, we are night owls. We're not, we're not early risers. So this, this has been quite difficult for us this morning. Um, but I set my alarm. Look at this bird. See that yellow bit on it? Yeah. Um, we set our alarms. And we got up and we did it. But what's really sad is it's super cloudy, so we couldn't actually see the sunrise. But we obviously saw it get lighter, and that was just as just as good. No, it was. Although we're convinced that Toby thinks it's like good omens and people are gods because we saw the sun as the sun was meant to be rising. We looked over to the east, and a man appeared. He looked like a wise man. He looked like a wise old son. At the exact time of sunrise. And went over to the west. And said morning. And disappeared. <laughs> he came from the west. No, he came from the east and went to the west. Yeah. I'm eating my hair. Um, we just popped to the shops. It's a bank holiday, so the fact that we're up this early in general is freaking me out. The fact that it's a bank holiday is freaking me out, even though bank holidays don't really mean anything to us, do they? Yeah. We've just grabbed some croissants for Toby and avocado so I can have another little fry up type breakfast for me and we're just gonna go to another shop and grab some orange juice because the other shop was, wasn't open so yeah Brilliant. very early start we're starting 2022 as we mean to go on let's see let's see how long it takes let's see how long it lasts this but this this could be it having a little breakfast now we're home this is kind of like my version of a fry up i would have mushrooms but i accidentally overbought mushrooms because i ordered it on wheezy the other day um and panicked and made so much mushroom soup so now i don't have mushrooms which is a little bit sad but i have rice cakes with butter and salt instead of toast um bacon tomato i've got avocado with some sriracha some rocket because i don't have any spinach or anything yeah i'm missing the mushrooms but oh well little glass of orange juice tea Toby's got his standard pastry pile, some croissants um, that we got from the local shop this morning. And yeah, I am back, back now in my onesie. Christmas cups ready. This is like the end of Christmas now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. End of Christmas. I think we're going to take down the tree. We're going to take down the tree very soon. Probably not today, tomorrow or the next day maybe. So I feel like I need to make the most of Christmas. Well, I can before it's properly over. Tuesday morning. I'll just pop into Tesco quickly. Oh, it's freezing cold. I feel like I shouldn't be wearing a hat. This is my problem. I tie my hair up or put a hat on as soon as I wash my hair. I've all my clothes. Oh, God, it's freezing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Classic day today. Meetings, meetings. Pop into Tesco. What else do we do with our lives, Tibbs? Not much. Didn't go and see the sunrise this morning. I actually really did want to go, but it was so windy, wasn't it? It was like a such a ridiculous storm. Um... So the weather was a bit crazy, it's actually a bit nicer now. It's still really wet, but at least it's quite sunny and the wind seems to have gone away. But it was a crazy storm this morning and I had a call at nine, so it seemed a bit silly to, to have to kind of rush. So just between meetings, we're running out to Tesco. We're gonna get some healthy food for our healthy January slash 2022. We've decided to do couch to 5K. Have we decided, have we confirmed this? It's confirmed. Um, seeing as we've got the treadmill now, we thought, let's do couch to 5K. I've actually run a 10K before, so I know it can be done for now. Are we going to the bread shop first? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I was so much fitter back then. I was working out like six days a week at the gym. The time has come. Very, very sadly, Toby just impromptu was like, I'm gonna start taking the decorations off the tree. 
while he was waiting for me to get my breakfast. Wow, you've taken so many off. You're like speed removing. Got stuff to do. How are you doing it this fast? I'm just making my breakfast. That's why he started doing it. Having a little fry up. Ready. So Toby just went mental and called me upstairs and was like, we're sorting out under the bed, which has just confused me. He's just not like this. <laughs> not organized or sorting. Um, but he started doing it, so I was like. But I'm so impressed with you. Um, hence the mess everywhere. Sorry, I apologize. Um, but yeah, basically we've got this Ottoman storage bed because we have literally no storage in our house. Toby's a drummer so he has loads of drums we've got like a cupboard our main cupboard in the house like the only cupboard really of storage that we have full of drums drums cymbals drums cymbal stands everywhere um under the bed and then obviously this is where we kind of have to store everything so we have cymbals cymbal stands um all of our Christmas decorations and all of like our bedding and towels and everything as well and then I've also got this um Christmas uh, wrapping paper storage thing, two clothes horses. I mean, then we just got like random bits like summer towel, like beach towel, sleeping bag. Um, and we just got rid of loads of stuff because we just don't have the room for it. And it was just a bit of a mess. Buddy, buddy, can you not eat that, please? There's just like crap in the bottom of our bed right now from just like Christmas decorations, so just like bits of the tree and stuff. So I'm just about to hoover it all about, hoover it all out. Buddy's very excited because something's happening, but she's not gonna be excited in a minute because I'm about to put the hoover on. She hates it. Can you stop it, please? Um, so yeah, we're getting sorted. So we're taking the decorations down and we're actually gonna have room to put everything back nicely. <laughs> just come downstairs and the tree is gone. So traumatic. The glossy boxes are back out for the Christmas decks. I just think this is so funny. Glossy box, glossy box. This year I actually had a couple. I don't even get glossy box. This is what's funny. These are just from random ones I've had. You've had it for six months. I've had it for. Has five it been six months? months? Sorry, Toby's just bitten off my way. Yeah. Okay, so five months this year I actually have had it because it was like a three month thing. It was like three boxes for £20 or £25. And then they. Um, auto took money for the next three which because i think if you want, is if you ridiculous want a really long lasting gift from toby getting to get your subscription because <laughs> he forgets and to then, cancel I'll, it i'll never cancel it you just have it for ages do you like all the glossy boxes so yeah the recent ones this is so beautiful this is like my favorite i kind of don't know if i want to use this for christmas decorations because i kind of want it for something else but then it's one of those things where i'll just never actually use it for anything although i could put candles in it oh should i do that hmm I know a lot of people like to get their decorations down to have like a fresh start and a nice clean house but I feel sad about it. Honey, there was poo there. No, there is no poo there. I 
I think you had it on your hand from another time. From how long have I had that on my hand? <laughs> Where? Where have I got it on my face? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, I hey, just... is that it on your back? No, I just picked my nose. Look fantastic. I've had a lot of advent calendars in my time. And I think this is my favourite aesthetically. It's just beautiful. I've really enjoyed this one. I don't know why I love it so much, but you're really spoiling my heartfelt There's moment. There's poo on the dining room table. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Anyway, I just loved it. I think it's so nice. I love the drawers. They're just so cool. I just think it's so nice. I like the candy cane stripes on the side, the colours. I don't want it to go. I was thinking about putting my decorations in it to store them, but it's just an unnecessarily big thing, isn't it? I hate like getting rid of stuff. Why am I so bad? I'm such a sucker for nice packaging. I think I should check that I've stopped taking everything out. I mean, it would have been really weird if I actually had missed it, eh? Yeah, I'm putting money on the back of the table. Oh my god! What? I did, I missed a day! And there is a candle! Oh my god! I literally nearly chucked this candle away! Do you know why? That's the day that we came back from Edinburgh. I don't know how I've done that. Do you know what's really weird? Is I thought there was a candle in there, and that's why I thought the last day was going to be a candle. Oh my god, I'm so glad. Well, that's good. Mate, I am so glad I just checked that. I feel like I knew deep down something was left. Okay, well, day 10 of uh, Vlogmas, welcome. Uh, this is my advent calendar, a nice rituals. Is this working? Candle. Buddy is obsessed with my hair bands and it's really funny because she literally walks along and just picks it up in her mouth and when she wants something you can't get it from her, she just runs with it in her mouth. It's really funny. Whoa! No, can't eat those. They're nuts and they're for me. But yeah, she... Loves a hairband. done enough I'm trying to edit my photos and she's done something to my Lightroom how did you do that how did you do that oh my god don't do something on Toby's computer come away it's probably rendering something and that'd be really bad you touch me so tenderly I want you tremendously my heart knows no remedy Let's have a bath because I'm really not feeling very well today and I am just, it's about half four or five now and I just thought I need to have a little chill in the bath to, to feel a bit better. I've gone for sleepy shower gel which I have used as bubbles and it's doing a great job. My gigantic snow fairy, what's it actually called? snow fairy lights with all the little tiny ones i think all the little tiny ones have made colors and then obviously the main star has made the pink classic snow fairy color and smell 
Um, I've popped my face wash on my Foreo, ready to go. And then I'm going to use for my skincare, my Sunday Riley Pink Drink Spray. And my Luna, again from Sunday Riley. This is like the smallest I've ever seen. It's so adorable. Um, and then just to, you know, complete the Sunday Riley obsession, I'm gonna use Tidal over the top. So that's my little skincare section going on. My shower gel that I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna get my book and chill. You touch me so tenderly. God, there must be just so many COVID tests like in landfill. Who knew this was going to become our normal lives? So the reason why I'm doing, doing a COVID test this morning is I have my vaccine today and I just wanted to test before I go to make sure I don't have COVID before I leave the house. I cannot be the only one that has literally cries from sneezing after they've done it. I feel like I'm such a pro at these now. Um, it's funny because I look back and I think, God, when I first did them, I really don't think I was doing them properly because now I feel like I go up so far, I'm like finding new <laughs> depths to my nose that I didn't know existed. Oh, well, that one went up pretty far. That's definitely going to be a truthful result. Dr. Road. Google just loves chatting away when I get my camera out. My test was negative. My test was negative. Mm -hmm. That's all. Don't have COVID. But I do feel really ill. I don't, I don't feel really ill. I feel really, really run down and just not great. So I'm really nervous about getting my vaccine when I'm feeling so rubbish. Because I feel like if your immune system is already a bit rubbish, is it a good idea to then go and get a vaccine? I don't know. I am a bit nervous about it. I'm also just nervous in general, so maybe I'm making it making it out to be worse than it is. What was that building? Like a college or something? Or is it for the flats? The flats. So yes, I'm nervous. I didn't get to do my nails, but I'm gonna do them later. I figured that's a good thing to do. I've been feeling a bit rubbish. Get a bit of slack on your nails. Wowzers. I'm scared. Zoe powers the other side of Dave Baines. This is um graffiti that uh, Toby animated for the artist. Didn't animate that, but okay, didn't animate the that artist one. who painted those. <laughs> yeah, local to Bristol. Two, two different artists actually. Three. <laughs> Do I know anything about no. this story? Three different artists. But that not all three of them are painted there, have they? Yeah. Okay. Zoe, Dave, and Anna. The animated and then there's one. another three artists I think who did stuff there. And he turned up at our door and I didn't know who he was and I was like, why is this man here trying to give me art prints? Do you remember? And you were in like your pyjamas. Yeah, that was embarrassing. That was funny. Oh well, it was lockdown. What else are you going to be wearing? And Zoe came and I was in my pyjamas. Oh, I didn't see her. I'm boosted. I got boosted, I was such a baby as I knew I would be. It was really funny because it was in a doctor's surgery, so I literally went into like a normal doctor's office room. Um, and the doctor really looks like my friend, so it was confusing me because she literally looked like my friend so much. Everything about her was exactly like her, even down to like her hair, like highlights and everything. Um, she was really nice, and then the nurse came in to do it, so it was quite, a, quite an event. Because last time, I went, it was at like a centre, so it was just like tons of people and like you just go to your chair. But yeah, it was quite an intimate experience having like a doctor and a nurse there. I felt I felt quite special. Um, you look quite special. Thanks. They were so nice. I was such a baby about it and I was like really nervous and I was just saying like I feel a bit run down, a bit rubbish anyway and they were kind of going through stuff with me and 
they were saying all the normal stuff like because I've got lupus it's going to be really bad for me to just get COVID and it's so much better to get the vaccine and I know all of this stuff and I was there to have it but they were just trying to be really reassuring and really nice and then when she actually went to do it I was like ah I was being such a baby and the doctor was so nice she was like I'm 41 and I cry every time I get a blood test or like an injection and I was like I know you're lying to me but I really appreciate you being really nice anyway I feel like doctors talk to me like I am like a child it reminds me of when I was like four and I had to have a blood test. I was in hospital and I had to have a blood test in my hand. And I remember freaking out about it. And everyone's just always so nice to you. And I feel like that's exactly what it's like now. Now we're on our way to Asda because we need to get some snacks and try and see if they've got Oggs because they didn't have it when we went the other day. So we're going back and not gonna lie, I'm really up for getting some more of that fudge. But that's quite you, lit, you woke up and went fudge. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it when I woke up. I really want that fudge. Oh god, it was so good. Not that chocolate one, that wasn't good, but the normal one was amazing. Do you know where you are now, Sausage Face? Mm -hmm. Don't know where Astra is, but I know where I am. Not far. <laughs> worse than Christmas you think it's not but it was as bad no it, it was, was it wasn't Christmas. it wasn't very fun I'll give you that I I think when I walked in I was like this is worse than it was at Christmas um certainly as bad it was horrific like it was so horrific there were so many people everywhere the queues were like a full aisle back like it was just ridiculous i am so tired and feeling rubbish i just feel a bit slow and like blah and like i really want to go home i've got sushi that i got in asda waiting to be eaten which i can't wait for a buddy girl at home i literally hate this round of <laughs> i know we're just not having a good experience today everything's taking way longer than we thought everything is like way busier than we thought and These roundabouts just so poorly done. I know. My parents watched um, one of my Vlogmas videos where Toby was complaining that he never has straws in the car. And they bought us these like cutlery set each. Really nice, like metal cutlery. So like um, knife, knife, fork, chopsticks, straws, a couple of different size straws. It was like really, really cool and we keep forgetting to put it in the car and i'm really annoyed because i could have really done with those chopsticks could have had my sush um so we definitely need to make sure that we put it in the car later or tomorrow because i didn't realize how many occasions there were where we're in the car and we actually really need cutlery and straws but there, there's actually a lot of occasions most most times to be fair can't wait to go home and get a cup of tea I wanted to show you this parcel that I got from Daisy London because I thought it was just so beautiful. Please excuse my nails, I'm gonna sort them out later. Um, and it's also really dark now, so very orange lighting. But I just thought this was just adorable. This like art deco shell pattern is just my favorite thing ever. Their packaging is so cute. Oh, hello, a little note. Um, one thing I was going to say, these were underneath, I have opened this tab look. One thing I was going to say was, if you are ordering from them um, for a gift, they do send you gift bags for your pieces too. And I thought that was really nice because if you are gifting, you are going to be able to like give it to them as a gift and like wrap it in the bag, which I thought was really nice touch actually. Um, and again, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tissue paper with the... The little um like shell print on and the shell is actually one of the pieces that i got so i will show you i got two things um two pairs of earrings and i will show you buddy do you want to see i wasn't really sure the best way to show you this but i feel like holding it up might be best Ooh. so the first thing i got was so they come obviously in the box and then they come in like their little pouch which i love i love um when you get jewelry pouches and they've got like two sides to them so each earring 
can go like in its own side or the chain of the necklace can go over into the other side so it doesn't get all knotted up. So the first pair I got were these hoops. These were sent to me, so I'm going to put ad, but they were sent to me as a part of my blog, not YouTube, so I don't even really know if I need to, but I'm going to anyway. I don't know if you can see, so it's like a hoop with the little daisies like in the middle. So each of these little like dot bits there, they're all daisies. They're very, very cute. I really like the size of these earrings. They're a good size where you can actually see that they are a hoop. Um but without them being too big so they're really good like stacking size i really oh god i just love them and i am the type of person where i don't really like jewelry that i have to change quite a lot i like to be able to just put something in and leave it in and these hoops i could actually just like wear all the time wear it in bed and wear in the shower and stuff because of the um like clip there what's wrong I don't really like earrings that you have to put a back on. Sorry, I look so rough. I've been like falling asleep on the sofa all afternoon after my vaccine. Um, I don't like earrings where you have to put a back on and like take them in and out. I like it when they're just like secure. I love those. They're really pretty. I just think small hoops are just like so adorable. I really feel like I've got like Hagrid hair today. Okay, so they're the first things. And I'm just going to leave them in because stunning. These are the shell. They're kind of similar to the little start, the little moons that I have. These are from Estrid and Me, the little moons. These shells, I'm so into this like art deco sort of style shell. I think that's so pretty. And they're like, again, a really like cute size. They're just like, they're not like huggies. They're a bit bigger than a huggy but they're not that big and what i like about these as well is the way they're attached to the hoop so as you can see like the shell has its own like connector with these ones these ones are from astrid and Mew. i don't know if you can see if it's going to zoom in while i'm here yeah um they're just like loose and i have actually noticed that astrid and Mew have changed these now because they're loose there they have actually fallen out a couple of times and i lost the moon on this side and I have got it somewhere. I just need to find it because I can't, I put it in like a safe place and it's so safe that now I can't remember where I put it. So I need to find the moon, but I really like that because if the earring does come off or like the catch does open, you're not actually just gonna lose your earrings because that's so annoying when that happens. What I like as well is where it is like that bit of smaller hoop, you could wear it on like one of your higher cartilage piercings, which I might actually do to be honest. I don't know which one to, to pop it on because i feel like they're not all that high i might even just go for the third hole actually um and that might be quite cute but i think these are beautiful so obviously daisy london is estee lalonde's company um i have a bit of a like weird nostalgic connection with this i don't really follow her that much anymore if, if i'm honest i feel like with youtubers over time you kind of have favorites and then you sort of like your interests change or i just sort of like sort of follow different people and there's only ever really a certain amount of people that i follow in one go because there's only a certain amount of time in the day that you can actually dedicate to watching youtube um and really sadly i don't know why but estee was just one of those youtubers that i kind of stopped watching for like quite a few years but um myself and one of my really good friends and ex-colleagues donna we used to have like back in the day years and years ago probably like seven years ago now when was it like 2014 we started a blog and it was called between us girls and it was whilst we were working under another company so it was just a really unfortunate chain of events we like started doing it alongside our job and then the company that we worked for were like an investor company so we ended up like doing our blog via them um it was really successful at the time what we were doing was like really doing well we like really enjoyed it it was amazing and we had some really amazing opportunities by doing that um one of which was going to one of Estee's like I can't remember what it was it's like a book launch or like Q&A for her book I've actually got the book and like a little note that she wrote in it obviously she's not going to remember anything about this event um but it was like one of those moments where there was just a few things that we went to in London that were quite like oh this is happening for us now moments and it was when she was still with Aslan and my um 
friend who I was doing my blog with, we're like in two different age groups. She's a little bit older than me and everyone was like, this is such a cool concept, like two women in like different age brackets, um, sort of like writing and sharing like opinions on the same things and like different takes on it. And it was like really well received and they were like really supportive and like, this is amazing. Like, and I just feel, I don't know, there was like a moment where I was like, oh my God, like this is really cool and people were like really supportive and it was really lovely and I feel like when Daisy reached out and were like can you write about some of our pieces I was like yes I can and I'm like really it's almost like a bit of a full circle moment for me and I'm like I don't know it's really nice it's very like nostalgic to me but obviously this is also like a very current um brand so I'm really, really excited to um, include them in one of my blog posts, which is coming out very soon, if not already out. So please keep an eye on that. I really, really love the pieces I've been sent. I love everything on the website anyway. I've been like browsing through every day, like, what should I get now? I wanted to wait for these pieces to come so I could like see the sizing and like um, the quality and everything, even though I knew it was going to be amazing. Thank you so very much for watching and all of your support please subscribe because i would love for some more people to be subscribed over here and i will see you very soon also please check out my blog that is where i am most of the time i upload at least one blog post once a week um so the content is very um current and very regular over there so please go and check that out and i will see you next week bye guys